Most of the books that I review here on this channel are textbooks. And in this video, I want to review a book that is not a textbook. The book is called Everyday Calculus, Discovering the Hidden Math All Around Us, and it's by Oscar Fernandez. And this book is awesome. I just want to point out that one of the comments in the back of the book is by Thomas Garrity, a fun and delightful read, which is really cool because I had the opportunity to interview Thomas Garrity, so it's kind of cool that he's commenting on this book. It kind of makes me feel famous by association. Anyways, this book is super fun to read. I'm a little bit over halfway through the book, and so I thought I'd make a video to show you some cool stuff that I've read in this book. Also, if you're interested in checking out this book, I will leave a link in the description. Everyday Calculus, Discovering the Hidden Math All Around Us, Oscar Fernandez, Princeton University Press. Here is the dedication in the book, and I think it's really cool that he wrote it in Spanish, even though the book is actually in English. Basically, he's dedicating it to his wife and his daughter. I'll just go ahead and read it really quickly. Dedicada a Zoriada, eres la belleza de mi vida y también a nuestra hija, mi niña. Tú serás mi consentida y por supuesto mi mamá, sin tu amor aquí no estuviera. The book is written in a really fun way. It's basically Oscar waking up and going through his day and noticing all of the calculus that he sees in his day and explaining it, which is really, really cool. And here's the rest of the chapters. And I think the book reads extremely well. Like it's fun to read and you can read it with or without a pencil, which makes it very, very different from a textbook. Here he gives you a chart that shows you the calculus that's discussed in each chapter. And I want to emphasize that this book is very, very different from every other book on calculus I've ever read. And I think it's because it's not a textbook, right? It's actually a book that talks about calculus and how it appears in the real world. And this book is filled with really cool examples. Oscar talks about how raindrops don't kill you when they fall from the sky, and he explains why. He talks about what happens when you travel really close to the speed of light. Chapter one, which is called Wake Up and Smell the Functions, starts with an example of Oscar's friend giving him a mysterious sequence of numbers. And these numbers are all a distance of 1.5 from each other, which is the average length of a sleep cycle. So then Oscar goes through and creates a function, a trigonometric one, which models sleep cycles. And notice the star next to the one there. So whenever you see that in the book, that means there's actually more math at the back of the book. Let me show you. So because it's in chapter one, you just go to appendix one and then you go to one and he talks about the sleep cycles and how to come up with the formula. So it's really cool that he kind of glosses over the math sometimes so that the main idea isn't lost. And then you can look to the back of the book if you want more precise details. The logarithm's hidden in the air. So in this little subsection, he talks about radio waves and I think he does a really good job explaining it. Even if you don't know any physics, you'll understand this and you'll walk away knowing some really cool stuff that you didn't know before. Sound is a pressure wave. This is easy to confirm. Hold your palm very close to your mouth and try to speak without any air hitting your palm. Good luck, because without the movement of air molecules, there's no pressure wave. Now hold your hand somewhat close to your ear and fan it ferociously back and forth. You should hear a periodic sound as your arm oscillates. That sound is the pressure wave. And here he says, like your arm, a radio pulses its speakers back and forth to produce the pressure waves that our ears detect as sound. And just like your arm, the more violently the speakers vibrate, the louder the sound that's created. And then here he goes on and defines the sound level function, which basically it's decibel units. Yeah, really cool. In this subsection, Oscar describes the water coming out of a shower head and he goes through very carefully and talks about all of the physics and all of the math that's involved in that process. And then he gives other examples of this specific process. And here's the final formula that he comes up with. And he says, this formula, in my opinion, is one of the greatest achievements of medieval science. It applies not just to water coming out of my shower head, but also to a football, a frisbee, or any other object thrown in the air. It tells us that all objects moving on earth follow parabolic trajectories. And if you've taken the class, like, you know, college algebra, you've seen this. You usually see word problems in those classes that have to do uh, with parabolas describing trajectories. However, when you read them in this book, it's just a lot more interesting. And I think it's because of the way Oscar writes. 
it's just a really fun book. You know, you can sit down and read through it. And so far, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. Here's a graph that shows the amount of vitamins and minerals in Oscar's body as a function of time t. And notice that the graph is discontinuous at 10. And he uses this to motivate the definition of continuity. So far, my favorite part of the book is this one here. Why do we survive rainy days? It's basically explaining that, you know, if you walk outside and you're wearing an umbrella and rain is hitting your umbrella, I mean, these raindrops are falling an average of 13,000 feet. Why aren't they killing you? Why are you surviving the rain? Oscar goes through very, very carefully and explains all of the physics and gives really good analogies that help you understand why exactly the rain doesn't kill us. Another super cool section is on the calculus of time travel. Here he talks about GPS and he gives some formulas that Einstein came up with. And he talks about time dilation. Basically, put more alarmingly, moving objects time travel into the future relative to stationary objects. Then he switches back and talks about GPS and he explains you know, how GPS fits into all of this. And he also explains that the people who design the GPS systems, the engineers, they take into account Einstein's findings so that everything you know, works out okay. Albert Einstein, really incredible. And the applications just go on and on and on. And it's not like a book of word problems. I know a lot of times when people hear, oh, it's you know, how you use math in the real world, they think of those you know, word problems they have to do in classes. That's not how this book is written and it's not what this book is about. This book is written in a very fun way and Oscar walks you through his day and shows us the calculus all around him, which is basically calculus all around us. Overall, I think this is a really good book for anyone who is interested in mathematics. Oscar does a wonderful job giving all kinds of really cool examples of calculus that appears in everyday life. And if you've taken you know, some calculus classes or some physics classes, a lot of these examples will seem very familiar. For example, he talks about you know, how a cup of coffee cools when you take it out of you know, the coffee pot and you set it on the counter. Um, he talks about how there is such a thing as you know, terminal velocity. So a lot of the things that you read in this book are things that you know, you've, you've probably already seen, but at the same time, I think you're gonna get a lot from it. I thought it was a really fun read and I thought it was extremely well written. I was really impressed at how well it was written and how fun it was to read. It didn't come across as boring. And overall, I think this is a calculus book for everybody. So yeah, I think if you're looking for a good calculus book, this is a good choice. I think you'll enjoy it. Good luck.